Hello, my name is Maido and I am a material scientist specialized in nanotechnology and today's topic is galvanic corrosion. Corrosion, as you know, is the degradation of a material and it is generally a very slow process but it can accelerate if wrong materials are combined. As it was mentioned, galvanic corrosion is an accelerated form of corrosion as it is an electrochemical process that occurs when two metals with different electrochemical activity are in an electrical contact with each other. In this process, the more passive metal drives the corrosion of the active metal and at the same time, the passive metal remains unharmed. The process would keep going on until the active metal is completely gone or the electrical connection between the two broken. Take a look at this example where two dissimilar metals have been in contact with each other for a couple months. One part has clearly corroded and at some point it no longer serves its purpose. Another example would be an aluminum frame that is connected with steel screws. Aluminum is much more active than steel and thus the steel screws drive the corrosion of the aluminum frame. So if this construction would be closer to the sea, where we have lots of chloride in the air, then pretty soon the steel screws would start falling out, as the surrounding aluminum has corroded away. But let's take a closer look why galvanic corrosion 